Hey everybody, um, so today we're going to be going over a short little video on how to test a, a car stereo or a car deck. Um, so the first step of this is uh, every store should be equipped with a regulated DC power supply, and if not, just let us know. Um, but uh, otherwise, if you can pick one out that has the car adapter um, or the cigarette lighter attachment, that's great for testing too. So if like an FM transmitter comes in or a GPS, you can just plug it right in there. Um, quick little for car item testing. Um, but for the most part, uh, the first thing you want to do is is make sure the car deck actually has the harness. Um, if it doesn't have the harness, it's not even worth buying. Um, and the next step is is make sure all the speaker wires and everything aren't touching. So the further away you can get them, um, the better. Use black electrical tape if you need to, if it's going to be an issue. These are really new, so they're not frayed or anything all over the place. So. Um, but other than that, the main wires that we're going to be able to do to be able to make sure this thing turns on and, and functions is going to be the red, which is the power, the yellow, which is the battery, and then the black, which is going to end up obviously being the ground. Um, so you're going to connect the black to the black post, and then the red and the yellow you can kind of twist together and put on the red post. Um, once you got everything all set and you make sure the wires aren't touching, we can go ahead and flick the switch, and our car deck will turn on. Um, so from here, you can test a, a lot of the functions, like if it's Bluetooth, you can connect your phone, um, you can check to make sure the volume works, you can turn, you know, press the buttons if you need to, um, but the main thing that I try and test right off the bat is going to be the CD player, because it's the most mechanical function of, this, of the actual car deck. Um, sometimes there might even be a CD stuck in there, or so on. Once we have a CD in there, um, and it's playing, um, next up we'll just have a look at the speaker wires here. So each one of these are for speaker, uh, with the exception of the blue remote. Uh, the blue remote wire is what actually tells your uh, car deck to shut off once the car shut off, so it's not just eating away at your battery the entire night. Um, so I got the other ones taped off just to make sure they're not accidentally touching one another. Um, but you will want to test every single one of the speaker wires. Um, but for the sake of example, I got the white ones here because they're the easiest ones to see. Um, so you'll always see a solid color, and then you'll see the same solid color except with a black stripe through it. Um, that represents the black ground and then the positive. Um, so once you actually have some music playing, you can go ahead and grab a speaker, whether it be a home speaker or in this case a car speaker, um, and then you can go ahead and start touching them to the speaker itself to start getting some sound. So. Cool, so that one's good, and you will want to go through every single one to make sure, because some channels do blow on car decks.